Hey guys, how's going? In today's video, I'm going to present two modifiers in 3ds Max, the cross section and surface. We will create a base model here using the two modifiers to speed up the process of creating your model. I will add a plan here to add a reference. Position it here in the center. I have already loaded the image here in 3ds Max. Just click and drag into Max and it will load your reference image here inside the software. Well, the cross section and surface work like this. It's created 3D mesh from lines or splines. So here in the splines tab, I will create some circles following the shape of this bottle, right? I will create a circle here at the top. I will position it correctly. I will create all the other circles that will be this shape here of our bottle and I will be back with you talk about the modifiers. Ok, we already all have the lines created. Now, what are going to do go back the first circles and apply a tats on all the others. After doing this, we can see that the model has different shape on the sides. As we have the reference image from the three angles, then now we create a copy holding shift, we will use it as instance, ok? and I will position it correctly here in your reference. This way we will make the model exactly as we have in your reference. I will create one more copy here, again an instance. I will rotate again, and that's it. Let's position the line correctly now. After doing this, I will come here to segments and will delete half of this line that we created. I will working with only this half. In vertex mode, the last point of the circles, I will convert it to corner. And now I will adjust its position. I will do this here. This one is the front one. We have it here in front. Let's position it here and this one that is in the middle, I will position it here. Ok, I will adjust the position here, now with this corner. Very simple, just using scale, move and rotate to adjust the position of the circles. Well, after this step of the base, we will now use our modifiers. First, the cross section. As you can see, it's created a new lines. Here according to the lines we create early. Except it doesn't create a 3D mesh. To create the mesh, we use surface. That's why the two modifiers are used together. I will isolate it here to keep just one to make it easy to see. As you can see, the model's normal is inverted. Just click on flip normal and it will be created correctly. I will add an edit poly on the top 
and here you can see the amounts of vertices it's adding to our model. Here in topology paths you can adjust the amounts of vertices and you want it to create in your model. And one is an out for this project. Done this, I will go back here to a copy of the side's angle and we will now work and adjust our model. Let's position the lines correctly. As we can see here in front, I didn't create the right mesh just created, it's manually now holding shift. Align on the Z axis, make it down. Now we adjust this 3D mesh. Here I will create a segment to the sides. I will remove this edge and this one. We won't use this pointed here. It will remove it. Here this line instead of throwing it to the sides, I will throw it here to the front. And I will create a copy down here. Done that, let's now add lines in the space here. For this I use out one to add a loop. Holding down shift, it will create a loop following the shape flow. As you can see, it has already added loops already holding the shape according to what the model. I will add a loop here and one more here. In front, I will return to our reference, you can see that everything is working. Just like this, we have the correct the ads. This is very simple, I will bring it here, let's adjust it better, here it's the space, so that this whole mesh works properly. I will adjust this here, leaving the space a little more uniform, even with this one. Here I will need a new loop coming forward, for that I will remove this loop and this edge. I will bring this one here, let's remove this two one, let's remove this one too, let's bring this one here, this one here and let's add a new one leave it a little further apart. Add a new one holding shift and let's connect it well. Here, we already have the base of our model, right? I will now apply a symmetry in Y with the flip enable. I will view here from the top, add a new edit poly. There's two sides here you must adjust because there is a slice larger big than the standard shape. Just Use the shortcut out to the same here in the back and stop one. I use Ctrl Shift R to create a perfect circle. Well, here we already have the base of our model. Here would be fine adjustments. 
Let's reduce the structures here. Since the model has a very nice curvature, I will do the same here. In the same here. Here, we'll close the shape of horse. I think that's hand out here. I will use cap and here I will add three segments after the cap. I will add three segments here. Let's connect this one with this one and with the cuts connect here. Well, we close this back part, it's already working. And here, as we can see, we already have the basic shape of this model created very quickly and easy using these two tools, the cross section in our surface. To create the Zs that the model has, just created chamfers here on the Zs. I'll select all of them, which is my chamfer shortcut. Select Open Subdivide Modifier and here we would already have those heads created. Here we already have the base model ready. I won't create the whole model in this video as it's just a presentation of the cross section and surface of how they will help you speed up of your modeling process. I will open here the model I will create it using the same shape. Here you can see the model created correctly using the techniques present in the video. I hope you enjoy the contents. If you like it, you don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.